Okay, everyone. Um, time for another uh, cooking with the dogs. Um, not sure what they honestly think of this, but um, they eat the recipe, so I guess they must like it. <laughs> um, anyway, I had a request for uh, one of my recipes, um, potato and leek soup. Um, I'm not a r big fan of them great big giant leeks that they sell in the grocery stores, uh, most likely grown in greenhouses or something. Um, I prefer wild leeks. Um, problem with that right now is I'm out. Um, I didn't have very many to start with for this year, so um, I'm improvising and substituting uh, the leeks with green onions. Um, most people know you can buy the bu little bundles of them at the grocery store for like 50, 60 cents. Um, I've got two bundles. Uh, I've already got them chopped up. Um, but it's basically the same recipe. Um, I will be adding something that's going to give it that same flavor as leeks which I've discovered by accident. Um, and that's by mixing in a uh, jalapeno. Not a whole one, um, and not a big one, about half of, a quarter to half of a small jalapeno pepper, something about, oh, two, two and a half inches long, and maybe an inch in diameter. Um, it adds a little bit of extra spice, plus adds a bit of flavor um, similar to that of a leek, um, especially the wild leeks, because um, they're pretty, they can be pretty hot, um, like spice-wise. But anyway, let's get at it. Um, I pre-chopped the potatoes. I've got, um, I've got about two and a half pounds. My recipe calls for two pounds. Um, but got them all chopped up here in the pot. It's easy way to do it. I got about 12, 10 to 12 medium potatoes. I've got 12 in here. 10 is about right. Um, they're not big potatoes. Easily fit in your, the palm of your hand type thing. But it's a pretty simple recipe. You got your potatoes. Mix in your leeks, or in this case onions. Get everything blended in good. Um, the jalapeno is also already chopped up in here with the mixed in with the dish of onions. So that part's all taken care of. I have approximately two cups of water in here, and for broth, I use uh, just a can of chicken broth. chicken broth, whatever brand you buy. Hi Ellie. Are we making soup? Yeah, potato soup. My chaos. Yeah, they have to, have to come supervised. Make sure I do it all right. Get it all mixed, everything all mixed up. And just for add a bit of flavor, tiny bit of crushed chili pe peppers, just a pinch of it, more than enough. Um, of course, like I've said before, I love things spicy, so it gets two pinches. Um, Get the 
rest of the ingredients. Um, a lot of people don't like too much salt in the recipes, so I just put a small sprinkle of salt in. The recipe calls for one teaspoon of salt. Um, last ingredient, one tablespoon of margarine. will melt off as once it gets on the stove and starts heating. Now, um, once things start cooking down, uh, you want your the potatoes in it to um, literally turn to mush for the most part. So when I'm dicing them, I have lots of small, like I dice them really small, lots of little parts or pieces, but I also leave several, like lots of it as chunks. So the finished product is a like chunky soup. Um, lots of lots of big size pieces. I'll get it put on the stove and uh, we'll check back in a bit and I can show you the, how it's looking as it gets cooked down. Okay, update time on the potato and leek soup. It's been cooking about 20 minutes now. Um, and potatoes aren't quite mushy enough that we're getting there. Got to be able to mush a bunch of them down, almost into mashed potatoes type thing. But, yeah, looking pretty good. Another 10-15 minutes, the potatoes will definitely be cooked enough to mush up. Like I said earlier, you don't want to mush all of them, but. You want some nice big chunks in there. Perfect. We'll check back again shortly. Well, it should be finished now. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's good. potatoes have mat mushed down some. We squished a few a couple times on here. Just to uh, speed them up a bit. Good, good chunky potato and leek soup. Well, potato and onion soup. Um, decide you want to try the recipe. Um, like my other videos, I'll put the recipe in writing in the description. Um, if you're interested in other recipes and stuff that I make for back here uh, just keep in mind to uh, subscribe to the channel and every now and then me and the pups will be posting new ones um, yeah it looks like we're pretty much all ready for supper tonight yeah, well everyone have a great day thanks a lot like I said don't forget to subscribe Keep up with uh, any new videos. And we'll talk to you all later. Thanks for tuning in.